Before we start today's video, I wanted to let you guys know that we've partnered with the Giveaway Club to give you guys a chance to win a brand new 2020 iPhone SE in their electronic sweepstakes number one. These sweepstakes will be live from now until October 5th, 2020 at midnight Pacific time. So check out their link down below and enter into their giveaway and have a chance at winning a brand new iPhone SE. Also, if you guys want to purchase anything from their website, you can get 5% off any purchase you make by using the code updates. Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and today we are going to be taking a deeper dive look into the Apple Watch Series 6. Now, one of the three major reasons why you'd consider upgrading to this specific watch is the blood oxygen level testing feature that Apple introduced as being a feature exclusive to the Series 6. Now, this isn't the first time that we've seen a major health feature like this released for the Apple Watch. We've seen the ECG feature in years past that can detect heart arrhythmias, and that has proven to be a very important feature to a lot of users out there who depend on those tests to monitor their personal health. So when Apple came out with a blood oxygen level test, a lot of users were wondering if they could use these specific tests to monitor their specific conditions. And of course, there were always those doubters who thought that maybe this new feature might not be as accurate as it should be. So today we are going to be doing our own test to see if the new Apple Watch Series 6 can be trusted when it comes to measuring blood oxygen levels. So my goal today is to actually test this new blood oxygen level feature on the Apple Watch Series 6 and compare it to the pulse oximeter that I personally used when I came down with COVID. Now, Apple never claimed that their technology is medical grade like this pulse oximeter, but after seeing so many accurate results with the ECG feature, I really wanted to see if this new feature from Apple was just as reliable as their ECG feature was. Now, before we get started, I will say that I do trust this device here. This was doctor recommended, so if the results of any device like the Apple Watch Fitbit or anything else match what this pulse oximeter says, I am going to trust those devices. To me, this pulse oximeter is the, kind of like the golden standard or the baseline, and I'm going to trust this device over any other device out there because it is doctor recommended. So just wanted to let you guys know my uh, preface when it comes to devices. So with that being said, I do have the pulse oximeter here, and just in case you want to know uh, what exact device I'm using, I'll have a link down below so you can see what I used for comparison. For the Apple Watch, obviously I have the Apple Watch Series 6, and what I did before this test was I cleaned the sensors on the bottom, I placed the Apple Watch in the Apple recommended position on my wrist, and I also ensured that the band wasn't too loose or too tight on my wrist. I'm also doing all the tests on the same hand just to ensure that no one makes the argument that the results might be skewed in any way by using it on opposite hands. <laughs> so with all of that being said, I did go ahead and conduct 10 tests between the Pulse Oximeter and the Apple Watch Series 6. Despite many reports out there saying that results were highly inaccurate from the Apple Watch Series 6, I was getting fairly consistent and seemingly accurate results with the Apple Watch. Most of my results were pretty much within a percentage mark of the Pulse Oximeter, but I never actually got something that was more than 2% off the Pulse Oximeter, which of course I'm using for reference. If you take a look at the chart that I have on screen, you can see that as far as my results go, the Apple Watch remains accurate quite consistently. In fact, most of the time, the Apple Watch was spot on with my pulse oximeter, and since the pulse oximeter was doctor recommended, I'm going to say that the Apple Watch should absolutely be trusted in regards to the blood oxygen level test. Now, there's always going to be someone down in the comment section that says, oh, this isn't accurate, this is an accurate test, and it shouldn't be trusted, and I respect those comments. And in response to those anticipated comments, I just wanted to say that this pulse oximeter was doctor recommended, and the results are pretty much spot on with the Apple Watch. So, yeah, just want to point that out. <laughs> now, one thing that I will say is that if you get a poor result with this specific test or an ECG test on your Apple Watch, maybe run the test three more times. If two out of the three results yield bad results, I'd seriously recommend seeing a health professional because most of the time, these results from the Apple Watch are very good signs that you may have a deeper issue. So guys, those were our tests on the Apple Watch Series 6. And I hope those answer some questions for all of you that had uh, questions about if the blood oxygen level test were accurate or not. And of course, if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me in the comment section down below. I'll be more 
more than happy to answer those. If you guys wanted more information on how all of this technology works, I suggest checking out the link down below to the Apple Watch Series 6. Apple has quite a detailed explanation of what technology they're using in their Apple Watches and how it all works. So guys, that's it for today's video, but just in case you want to see more content in the near future, definitely hit that like button, get subscribed, and also hit that notification bell button as well. If you guys want to chat with me on Twitter or follow any channel updates, you can of course find me at Jeff Updated. And if you want to get a cool new shirt like this one, check the link down below to get these super comfy shirts from the Cotton Bureau. Seriously, you can get my designs or anyone else's on that platform. Bottom line, these shirts are super high quality and I don't think I'm going to be buying any other t-shirts out there. But guys, thank you all for watching and until I see you in the next video, I hope you all have an awesome day.